Defying gravity went close to 10 years without a repeat until now. An iconic line. It is 20 feet tall, 50 degrees overhung, and has just enough grips on the wall to make it possible. Absolutely perfect. Just a shield sitting in the middle of nowhere. One of the more complex, lowest percentage jumps I've ever done. It's kind of one of those, can't believe it's true type boulders. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Just brushing some holds here at Defy Gravity. Legendary boulder. One of the one of the videos and boulders I was most inspired by growing up. It's pretty, pretty spectacular. Pretty impressive first move on this one. First move is, is what, what it's all about. Tons and tons of different betas. If you're not Daniel Woods, then you have like three options pretty much. The campus beta, you start close matched on the rail, you just campus. And then Jimmy's beta, which is the high right heel. Austin's beta, which is like two hands on the rail, and then just jumping off of a low foot. Get down in the car, put and give it all. Bust it open hard, let me see your job. Get down in the car, bust it open hard. It's pretty crazy that you like do this crazy first move, and then you have this like perfect setup into two more edges, and then you do this, yeah, another pogo dunk, and you just hold the most hero swing. been trying a little bit of Austin's method, a lot of your method. I feel like it's just, it's all in that heel. Like, yeah, it's it's really just all about that. I think it's like the setup is almost more important than the move in a way. Like if your setup's really good and you have like a lot of body tension placing that heel and like you pull over the heel and like drive through it and feel the tension through that heel as you do the move, like gliding as close as you possibly fucking can to the wall. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like a weird hybrid move where it's like it's a jump for sure and you definitely have to probably hold a swing but you almost have to try to do it as if you're doing it pretty much statically. Enjoy your day out, man. Alright, y'all go. Catch you later. See ya. Come on. Oh! oh! Yes, dude. dude. That was so fucking, that was amazing. That was sick. So that felt good. Yeah, Jimmy was very right when he said you need to go static for the holder, like pretend to go static and try to keep the heel on. Um, Jimmy knows best. Nice, Charlie. Nice, dude. Oh, and I'm just missing. Oh. Oh. Wow, I felt so fucking good. I actually had a, a moment where I was like, well, I might do it. <laughs> yeah. We've been pretty focused on one move for 
eight days. Eight days. Yeah. It's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should have tried to keep my left hand on. I don't either. Yes. Whoa! Oh, I just broke something. Oh, Fuck. Oh. The left hand. The left. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're good. Like, uh, it broke a lot. <laughs> Dude, now you're definitely going to be trying to keep that hand on. Keep that way. hand on. Or way. <laughs> or try to like uh try to come in like this, maybe. So perfect. It felt so good, dude. Oh. Weirdly anticlimactic. How, how good it felt. Yes, that was dude. Sick. Oh, that was, that was sick. Eight days, one move. Are you kidding me? Wow.